Hey guys, how are you doing? You're watching me, so I guess you can't answer that right now. But uh, hopefully you're doing all right. And uh, I'm just here today to kind of vent a little bit and talk to you. Um, this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. I've been a little bit nervous just speaking candidly, you know, just in my own head. But I'm glad I finally worked up the courage to do this, and here goes nothing. I just wanted to hang out and talk to you guys a little bit today about what you can do uh, to become better divers and just understand the sport a little bit more. The Olympics are coming up, everyone loves diving. When you're watching diving, sometimes it can be a little confusing. So I wanted to give you guys a couple tips when you're watching so you'll feel a little bit less lost. So I'm gonna talk about two things. I'm gonna talk about scoring and I'm going to talk about the dive numbers. So two pretty simple things I would say when you're getting started in the sport and two very important things if you wanna uh, progress or just learn a little bit more about the sport. Number one, scoring. Scoring works like this. A lot of people get really confused, but it's pretty simple. So when the diver is walking down the board, as soon as that person steps on the board, um, you're being judged by the judges. Um, so a lot of people, they just kind of think every dive is a 10. Not true. They, number one, it is distance from the board. It doesn't matter how nice your, your dive is. It, first of all, it's more difficult to do in a nice dive if you're far from the board. But if your dive is really nice and really far away from the board, you're gonna get scored lower. So the scores on a scale from zero to 10, um, and you either get 10, which is a perfect dive, or zero is a failed dive. At the beginning of the dive, you're starting at a 10, and you everything that you do wrong subtracts from your 10. So uh, let's say you're a little bit far away from the board, that may be a small deduction. So your toes aren't pointed, that may be a small deduction. You look a little loose in the dive, that may be a small deduction, and those things add up. So eventually you're gonna lose you know, a few points here and there. Let's say you know, you're doing a front three and a half pike, and you're a little bit loose on the pike, you, you miss the bottom a little bit, which is your entry, smaller scores. So number two, I would say for scoring is your distance from the board. So you can have a perfect dive that goes in, great entry, would normally score like nines or tens. If it's way far away from the board, it's gonna be very difficult to score that dive high. This is for springboard diving, obviously platform diving will be a little bit different. It's a little bit more difficult to be far away from the platform. So after your distance from the board, next is your takeoff so if your takeoff is you know amazing very vertical and takes you know takes off straight up um, it's going to be a much easier to score higher on the dive and you'll generally go higher so height is also very important so you know you could have a really nice dive that finishes pretty well but if it's really low first of all it's going to be much more difficult to finish that dive correctly and make it look nice on the finish but um, just higher dives generally score better so next after you finish that dive nice and high in the air the entry is you know, probably one of the biggest things that uh, divers get scored on. So you could have a beautiful dive, and then if you blow the entry, it's going to be really difficult to score high on the dive. So it's all about the splash. You'll see dive, the divers that score the best have really nice rip entries. They get their hands really flat on the water, they punch the water, and they suck their entire body through that hole and get almost no splash. Those are the guys that are getting those 8, 9s, and 10s. They make it look easy. So next, after talking about scoring, it's very important to talk about the dive numbers. Right before the diver goes, there's gonna be a little you know, thing on the bottom of the screen that has a couple numbers. So it'll be the dive number and letter. There's a three digit number or four digit number for the, the dive and the letter is the position and then there's a degree of difficulty at the end. And I'll talk about that in a second, but that'll all be announced before the diver goes and then the diver will go ahead and complete that dive. If the diver does the incorrect dive, then the dive will be failed. So now to talk about the actual numbers. So there's five categories in diving, um, in springboard diving. Uh, platform, there's six. You can do handstand dives. But uh, to start out, it's one is forward, two, back, three is reverse, four is inward, and five, there's twisters. So you can have you know, one dive from every category. And in a, a competition list, you generally have t at least two from every category, and you triple up on one of the categories. So uh, in a springboard meet, you will have, you have to have at least two for a, a championship meet generally. Um, and you'll do a, what's called a voluntary and an optional. So basically an easy dive from that category and then a harder dive from that category. So for fronts, ex for example, let's say, you know, you're getting better at diving. Let's say your optional is a front two and a half somersaults tuck, uh, for example, and your uh, voluntary is a front one and a half somersault pike. So that would be um, your two dives. So the way it works now, so let's say for fronts, um, fronts would work like this. So the first number will be a one, 
um, then there'll be a zero, so it gets separated. So it'll be one zero, and then the number of half rotations. So if I'm going to do a front one and a half, it would be one zero three. So front, uh, and then the number of half rotations. So dive, flip, one and a half. So one zero three, and then at the end you have your letter, which is the position. So A B C or D. A is straight, B is pike, C is tuck, and D is free. Um, and not all dives can be done in free. Um, generally only twisters, but semantics. So going off of that, um, the rest of the, the front, back, inward, excuse me, front, back, reverse, and uh, inward are very similar. So uh, let's say 203 would be a back one and one half because it begins with a two. Um, there's a zero and then the number of half rotations. 303 would be a reverse one and one half. So a three for the reverse and the number of half rotations and then 403 inward one and one, inner, inward one and one half somersaults. Now twisters is where things get a little bit funky. Um, twisters all begin with the number five and then from there you have the four categories again. So you have you could have a front twister, so it would be five one. You could have a back twister, which would be five two. And you could have a reverse or inward twister, which would be five three or five four. So once you've identified what kind of twister you want to do, so let's say I want to do a front one and one half with a full twist. So the way that would uh, get written out would be five one three two. And the reason that is is because five for twister, one for the uh, direction I'm going. So for front, so front twister five one. And then the next number is three. So three is the number of rotations I'm going to do. So I'm going to do a, fr a front twister with one and one half rotations. So one and one half is the number of half rotations is going to be five, one, three. And the next number, the, the final number, will be the number of half twists I'm going to do. So uh, first I'll be the number of half rotations and then the number of half twists. So I'm going to do two half twists, which is a full twist. So finally it'd be five for the twist, one for the forward, three for the number of half rotations, and two for the number of half twists. So that comes out to be 5132 or front one and a half full twist. And again, that also translates to the rest of the twisters. So let's say like I, back when I dove in college, I used to do 5333, um, 5333D. Uh, so the way that works is 53. So that's a twisting reverse, so 53. And then the next one number is the number of half rotations. So reverse one and one half with one and one half twists. So three half twists. So five, three, three, three. D is the uh, position, which was free. Finally, after you've figured out the dive numbers, uh, there's another number at the end, which is the DD, or degree of difficulty. And so what happens is, the, this is how the scoring works, you know, circling back to scoring. So let's say I do a 5333D, which I just talked about. I don't remember what the DD is off the top of my head, but let's say it's two point three I think on three meter 2.5 I forget but so 2.5 is your multiplier so the DD gets multiplied by the scores you get from the judges so at a typical competition you'll have three judges um, at a larger competition you'll have five places like the Olympics like large competitions generally have seven um, so what you'll do is you take you, you only score use three judges score so what like in big competitions like the Olympics you'll see like when they score it out they'll they'll slash out the t the high two scores and the low two scores basically so that gives you you know the best average of scores so once you get those three scores so let's say I'm at a my country club dive competition for the summer and I dive in I get five 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 on a reverse one and a half one and a half twist so what you do is 555 five, five from all those judges all gets added up from those judges. So now my total score for the, from the judges is 15 points. And then that score gets multiplied by the degree of difficulty. So when you multiply that, so let's just say for math's sake, it's 2.0. So my total score for the dive would be 30 points. So that's how you see at the end of those competitions, like the Olympics, they end up with those five, 600 point scores is every dive just gets added up. Obviously, there are dives, they're scoring much higher. So if you thought this was interesting, if you like this, give it a like. Uh, let me know if you have other questions that I can answer. I want to start doing this more often, try to share some of the wisdom I, I have in this great sport. And yeah, I hope you like this, and uh, hopefully you found something interesting. See you later. Peace.